look at my footage. Look at, look at how fucking creepy he looks in the corner. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's so fucking creepy. Oh, shit. Dude, I stubbed my toe earlier and it fucking hurts. Like, I am in so much pain right now. So I get a message the other day from this guy called Jordan, who's a real estate agent. And he pretty much just said this to me. Hey man, I'm a real estate agent in Port Melbourne and I've got this pretty fucked up house. It's been vacant for four years and was burnt out inside. It's way darker inside than what these photos make out. Just thought it might be a cool location for some freaky shit you shoot. Thanks, Jordan. And yeah, I would like to come fucking shoot it. First of all, I need to get an idea of what I actually want to shoot in this place. He said it's relatively dark. I'm gonna pack a tripod in case we need to do a longer exposure. We're gonna have to open up the shutter a bit more to get a brighter shot. The first thing I do is call Hayden. And I'm like, we've got this fucked up house to shoot. And he was like, what? I did remember him saying that he's never done steel wool photography before. I've actually never done steel wool photography. If we're gonna go to this house anyway, and it's relatively dark, and he's never done steel wool photography, that requires a dark space. Might be worth doing some steel wool photography. Now that we've gone shopping, I've got two different types of steel wool here. We've got very fine and medium. There are heaps of different types of steel wool that you can get, but the best is to get fine steel wool. And if you're wondering why I got this egg whisker, well, that's because we're gonna put the steel wool inside here. That's what we're gonna shove it into. Set that on fire and just spin it around. Now we've got to find a cool outfit to wear. Imagine if you rocked up on a date and you just rocked up like this. What? What is this? Huh? What do you mean? I'm from Warrigal. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll be coming up to it. Keep going. 463. <laughs> Yeah, it looks just as fucked here as it did in the pictures. Somehow I think if we break something, Wormwood Security would not be coming here. <laughs> just sent Jordan a message saying that we're here, so we're just pretty much waiting for him to rock up now. Where are you, Jordan? There he is. Jordan, nice to meet you, nice bro. Nice to meet you, bro. This ground is pretty much feels like a trampoline and they put this board down in here, right? But everywhere else in the room, if you step on that, you're just going straight through it. So obviously I didn't think that the house was going to be this tiny and setting off steel wool probably isn't going to be the best idea because, well, setting off steel wool is fire and setting that off in a small place is probably going to cause a yeah. fire. Luckily, Hayden, what did you bring? I bought a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Maybe just set off the fire extinguisher and just have that as the idea. Okay, so we've decided to set Will up here because this is going to be the best spot to take the photo. The other room is a bit crowded and there's, there's too much shit in a small place. So we're not really going to be able to get a shot even though I've got the wide angle lens. This spot's way better because we've got all the lighting here. It's going to diffuse Will really nicely as well. Essentially, it's just a better place to shoot the photo. Barefoot. Oh, yeah. This is Victoria's <laughs> Secret. Victoria's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> look at my look, look how fucking creepy he looks in the corner. <laughs> that is so fucking creepy. Oh, shit! Eat it, that's fucked. Oh, <laughs> it looks sick though. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Mate, even I got fucked on a bit, but nowhere near as hard as you. Look oh, at that. Mate. Oh. Okay, so well, let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> oh. Might be worth doing some steel wool photography. Obviously. We didn't set off any steel wool. So, this was just a giant waste of fucking money. <laughs> Essentially, you're already starting a fire by setting it alight. And when you spin steel wool around, all the embers fly out of it. And if there's any dry surfaces or materials around, more often than not, it's probably either going to burn them or set them alight. Being in a small space with 
heaps of dry walls around us, which has already been burnt, just to let you know. This house was already burnt from the inside, so I wasn't going to be the guy that was going to start another fire in this place. For anyone around the house and for our own safety, I'm happy that we made the big boy decision to not set off the steel wall. So instead, Hayden actually brought along a fire extinguisher that was supposed to be for a different shoot, but we figured that it was kind of ironic that we had the steel wool there and the fire extinguisher in it and it actually looked like more or less we were going to put out the fire if we were to start one but we decided to shoot with the actual fire extinguisher itself because i mean we're just getting bored of flares and we want to try switch it up a bit so we thought fuck it we'll just use a fire extinguisher <laughs> that actually resulted in some pretty cool photos just like this one i mean it looks good and apart from the fact that will's just barefoot in an abandoned house which is probably he's probably got a disease or two now but I mean it was worth it for the shot and the outfit we had suited the place and was actually pretty creepy to look at I gotta admit it was a pretty fun shoot and it was also a really unique experience to be invited down to an abandoned house so I gotta give a massive thank you to Jordan who was the real estate agent who reached out to me in the first place so that was pretty cool Jordan also does some photography as well I'm gonna leave his Instagram page right here you should go check it out Anyway, if you like this video, remember to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, help me out by hitting subscribe. And subscribe to my mates too. They do the same shit as me. So if you get bored of my videos, you can go over and watch theirs. But with that all said and done, I will see you guys next time.